Let's now use another method of division to divide 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1 by x minus 1. The synthetic division works only when we divide by x minus a number. Otherwise, synthetic division doesn't work. So, but we list all the coefficients of the polynomial we'd like to divide. So we have 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. Uh, we move that into 4 minus 3, 3, negative 1. And then put a vertical sign. And put that number we have subtracted from x uh, to the left. So if it's x minus a number, we just keep the number here. Okay, uh, leave an empty line, and the answer will be in the third line. And the process uh, mimics long division, but it's much more efficient and much faster. So first coefficient gets carried over without any work. Okay, so just carry leading 4 down. Then we take this 4 and multiply it by that number 1. So we have 4 times 1 here. So let me remove that arrow. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna keep that arrow possibly. And uh, okay, so we have four times one. Well, that's the same as four. And then we just add negative three and four. That gives us one. And we keep going. So we do 1 times 1, so this one gets multiplied by that one, and then it gives us 1, then 3 plus 1 is 4, okay, and then again 4 times 1 goes into the next space, that's just 4, and then add negative 1 and 4, and then it gives us 3. So how do we read this result in the third line? Uh, the very last entry is the remainder. That's easy. Uh, the quotient is the remaining numbers that we have there. So how do we read the quotient? The last entry is constant, the next one is x coefficient, the next one is x squared coefficient, and you just keep going until you exhaust all the numbers. Here we end at x squared, obviously. So the quotient is actually 4x squared plus x plus 4, and the remainder is 3. Well, just what we got using one division, but much faster. And we can again write the original polynomial is equal to x minus 1 times 4x squared plus x plus 4 plus 3. Let's do another example of one division. So this time we're going to divide x squared minus 5x minus 5x cubed plus x4 x to the fourth divided. We're going to divide it by 5 plus x. Well, we need just to work a little bit on this polynomial. First of all, we sort all the coefficients, x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus x squared minus 5x. And we need to have x minus a number, so make x plus 5 into x minus negative 5. Okay. And then uh, to use the synthetic division, we need to make all the coefficients of the polynomial visible. There could be some zeros. So we have fourth degree, third degree, second, first, there is no constant. We need to put zero into that place. Okay, so we have x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus zero. And then we turn that into just coefficients. Okay, 1, negative 5, 1, negative 5, 0. Then we put negative 5, uh, that comes from the number that we subtracted, into the left side. Okay, and that's the setup. Now let me remove the arrows. Then the division goes as follows. We carry the leading coefficient down, so it's 1 over there. Then we multiply 1 by negative 5 and put it in this spot. So negative 5 times 1 goes there, and that's obviously negative 5. 
and then we add negative 5 and negative 5 and we arrive at negative 10. Then we multiply negative 10 by negative 5 and we get positive 50. That's what shows up next. And then 50 plus 1 is 51. Nice. Then we multiply 51 by negative 5 and we arrive at negative 255. And negative 5 and negative 255 we get negative 260. And then again multiply negative 260 by negative 5 and we get 1300. And then add up 1300 and 0 and get 1300. So it's a bit faster than the long division. And we see that remainder is the very last number in the third line. And all the other numbers are the coefficients of the respective powers of x. So we start with constant term, max coefficient x squared and x cubed. So we can write the quotient is x cubed minus 10x squared plus 51x minus 260. And the remainder is 1300. So let's do one more example. Um, so we have uh, the problem to divide x to the fifth plus x cubed minus 2 by the x minus 1 polynomial. And uh, so to set the synthetic division correctly we make all the invisible coefficients visible. So it's x to the fifth plus 0 times x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 0 times x squared plus 0 times x minus 2. And we strip away all the x variables and put the coefficients 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, negative 2. And then we move this 1 that is subtracted from x over here. Okay, that's the setup. And then the division is easy. We carry 1 over. Okay. And then 1 times 1 is 1. So 1 shows up here. 0 plus 1 is 1. That's what shows up there. Then again, 1 times 1 is 1. That's what we get here. Then 1 plus 1 is 2. Shows up there. Then 2 times 1 is actually 2. Shows up there. Uh, 0 plus 2 is 2. It shows up here. And again, uh, 2 times 1 gives us positive 2. Shows up here. 0 plus 2 is 2. And then 1 times 2 gives us positive 2. And negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So what do we have? We have that remainder is 0. That's good. And the quotient could be decoded by the coefficient. So it's constant term max x squared x cubed x to the fourth. Okay, so the quotient is x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. And the remainder is 0. Since remainder is 0, we have that original polynomial x to the fifth plus x cubed minus 2 is factored into x minus 1 multiplied by x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. That's a nice case.